How's it going everyone? Spencer Israel here with Bren Slav from the Benzinga News Desk here in our downtown Detroit office. We're going to talk about today an issue in the small and micro cap biotech space. It's an issue that was first observed uh, by Adam Fierstein of the street. The issue really comes down to small, these small and micro cap biotech stocks, they'll rally and then raise new money and issue new shares on the heels of that rally at the high price. But Brent, real quick, why does it matter that Adam Fierstein is the one who observed over this trend. Yeah, so Adam is, is probably the top uh, biotech reporter out there. He's at the street right now, as you mentioned. He's probably their top reporter. Um, he has a ton of connections. He's probably the most connected biotech reporter out there right now. In the past, uh, hi as highlighted by a publication called Stat News, a good biotech website, they published an article last year that was legitimizing Adam in a lot of ways. Uh, a couple quick examples, uh, Galena Biopharma had some issues with stock promotion and their insider selling during times that they were promoting the stock. He was one of the first to uncover that. He actually got the CEO of Galena fired because of that. Pretty big deal. Uh, also, a lot of us know the pharma bro, Martin Scarelli, had some troubles with his company, Retrofin, in years past. Adam was one of the first to uncover uh, something like that also. So he, he's a source that you absolutely need to listen to if you're in the biotech space. And we're taping this on uh, on a Wednesday. So yesterday, on Tuesday, Adam went on a bit of a uh, Twitter rant about uh, cyclic cell in particular, ticker CYCC, called it a zero. Uh, he came on our morning show this morning, pre-market prep, which is every day from 8 to 9, and sort of elaborated mm -hmm. on on that thesis, which basically comes down to the fact that these companies, like I mentioned, are, are rallying a lot, maybe not for a legitimate reason, mm -hmm. and then the company will use that as a chance to go to the bank, raise more money, and price those new shares at the high of that move when it may, be not, may not be an accurate representation, representation right. of what the stock actually is worth. So Brent, how, can, how did he say to avoid some stocks like this? He, he said, you need to know what you're buying. I'm looking at press releases all day on the Benzinga News Desk, and there is a ton of pharma biotech press releases that hit every day. Not all of these press releases include fundamental material information that investors need to know about. However, a lot of times they do move stocks. This is one of the most volatile sectors in the market. Uh, the reaction from investors is, oh, a press release is hitting. This is either good or bad news for the stock. I'm going to buy or sell it accordingly. And Adam is saying that you know this stuff doesn't always mean a fundamental improvement, and thus the stock goes higher. So uh, this is where I should be buying. He's saying, uh, you know, these these stocks could be higher because of promotional reasons and after a company does a press release like this it is in the cards sometimes to do an offering up here and that's not something that he is you know super fond of I guess. And another stock he highlighted that has done that same thing is uh, Tonics Pharmaceuticals ticker is TNXP so some food for thought there if you liked this little uh, discussion of uh, sort of news behind the news there you can feel free to like and subscribe our channel we have new videos every week if you want Benzinga some TV. Benzinga TV if you like real time news Check out Benzinga Pro, where Brent's working all day, that's every right. day, bringing you the news. Uh, and that's about it. So thanks for listening. Uh, he's Brent. I'm Spencer. Have a good one.